Hi, welcome to another video uh, with Euro PC. And today I'm going to show you what I think is the best uh, media player out there right now for watching your videos and movies and playing your music. One of the reasons why it's so good is that, as such, this program here, VLC Media Player, the reason why it's so good is because it has a wide range of codecs and supports a lot of different formats of files, movie files, music files. And the best thing overall is that it's free. So it's 100% free. And it's open source. Which is great. So I'll just open it up and let you take a look at it. The actual program. It's quite a basic interface, but the features and its performance are very powerful. Like I said, it has a very wide range of codecs that it supports and it's free. And it's just a great it's a great overall program. It's the best media player I think out there right now. So just take a quick overview of the program, show you the different options and features of it. So here's like the your navigation kind of bar up here. You go to media and you can do all these different things. One of the great things I like about it, not that one of the things I like about VLC Media Player is that it has the ability to open a DVD and play it. And other um, media players, for example Windows Media Player doesn't allow you to do this and some other uh, media players out there don't have the capability of doing this and this does this which is really good I think. Gives you the ability to put a DVD in your computer and watch it. And these options here, playback, audio and video, you'll be able to change these while a video is actually playing. And here's the different options you can get. You've got the interface options, audio options, video options, subtitles and OSD, and input and codecs. Yeah, you can change the language. It's got a lot of different languages. It supports. Plus, you can also change the skin of the player itself to either something custom, and you can download them skins from this website, from VLC website, or you can use just use the basic one. It's up to you. Plus you've got these audio options. You can put Dolby surround sound on or off or automatic. Or you can have headphone surround effect. There's a lot of cool things in it. It's a great program to have all these things at and it's free. You've got these different video settings you can play about with to make your videos playback better. And also another great thing about the VLC media player is that it allows you to attach subtitles to the videos. So you can download subtitle uh, subtitles for movies and attach them to uh, the video. And when you're watching the video, it'll read the subtitles from the file and you can watch the video with the subtitles in different languages, of course, obviously. And here you, you can set the default optical drive as well, and you can choose the level of video quality post processing. And you can use GPU acceleration. 
as well, which is really good, I think. And you can choose here if you want to do system uh, codex, but here it does say that it's dangerous, so obviously it might be <coughs> crashing your videos. But it does say you get better quality. So this media player is great, I really think it's the best one out there. Again, it's free, it has so many different options. You know, you can put subtitles on your videos if they're not already on. And like I said, that's great, you can actually just open up a DVD disc. Some media players don't allow you to do that. Or if they do, then you have to buy a pro version. Again, you have to pay for it, where this is free again. So this is a quick overview of what I think is the best media player out there and just give you an overview of what it looks like and the options and hopefully you have learned something more about the VLC media player and this video has let you take a closer look at it and hopefully you use VLC media player and you enjoy watching your movies with it and listening to your music. So. That's the kind of overview of VLC Media Player and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later. Goodbye.